unbeaten fighters and major performers. I can't tell you how excited I am about this. So I'm told Eiffel TV, MTK Global, with me, one and only Katie Taylor. How are you? Great, thanks. Good. Feel good. Talk to us a little bit about Fight Week. You're excited to be here in the States? Yeah, it's great to be here. Um, very, very excited for me to like, trying to unify the division here at the weekend. So things are going well. I'm excited about it. Training camp is going great, so I can't wait to get in there Saturday evening. What can you tell us about Victoria Bustos? Yeah, she's a great champion. She's won the longest reign in champion of women's boxing, I believe. So um, she's obviously very, very good, very tough and durable and very crafty and clever as well. So I'm definitely expecting a tough fight. But as I said, the training camp has gone great over these last few months and I, I feel like I'm well prepared to go on into this fight on Saturday. Do you think this will be your toughest fight to date, Katie? Um, I think it has definitely has the potential to, but um, as I said, I am. Uh, these are the challenges that I absolutely relish. and. Um, and I am prepared for, the, for these kind of fights, so I can't wait for it. The last fight against Jess, Jessica Muscaskill was very entertaining. Yeah. The fans seemed to enjoy yeah, it. What yeah. do you take away from that sort of that sort of gritty performance? Yeah, it was definitely a great learner fight for me as well. I think, um, you know, I'm, I'm learning on the job. I'm, I'm learning in each fight. I feel like as the fights go on, I'm getting better and better. And it was great to headline my first show there as well. And against a really tough opponent in Jessica. So I definitely came out the be a better fighter from that fight. And, um, I'll definitely take that experience into this fight on Saturday evening as well. One of the leading lights and main flag bearers for women's boxing at the moment. How do you deal with the pressure of so many young females looking up to you and aspiring to get to, to where you're at at the moment? Um, I think it's a it's a definitely a privileged position that, I am, that I'm in. Um, I, I, I love being a great role model for these young kids and if it does inspire young young girls to get involved in the sport, well then that's, that's absolutely fantastic. But I just take everything in my stride and these are the type of fights that I, I love being involved in. These are the type of shows I love being involved in. And, um, and yeah, it's a dream for me to be here. Have you seen a change in women's attitude and boxing to, in attitudes towards women's boxing from when yeah. you started to, to now to sort of the receptive and how receptive people are to it? Yeah, definitely. Even over the last year as a pro, there's so many great, great champions out there now, great female fighters. And I think for the first time, people are really seeing the best of women's boxing. And that's so important as well. Uh, people are, are really starting to respect the sport, and um, and that's uh, that, that's just fantastic. Really, I think we're, we're all really changing people's perceptions of, of women's boxing. Boxing's booming at the moment here, back in the UK. What fights are you most looking forward to seeing yourself as a boxing fan? Um, I think the the Lamachenko Linares fight. <laughs> I think that's going to be an absolute. Uh, well, I, I love watching both of those guys fighting, so I'm looking forward to that one. Um, May the 12th, so many fights on that yeah, night as well. I Liam know. Smith in action, yeah, exactly. as well as Huey Fury. Yeah, and Michael Conlon as well, Michael my, my uh, old well, teammate. Yeah, on, on the undercard. So, um, some, some great, great fights on. Um, and I hope possibly the Josh and Wilder fight in, in the future as well. This year, I'm That's definitely looking forward to that one That's as well. Be great. Yeah. Irish boxing's booming at the moment. You've seen the success as well at the Commonwealth yeah, again. The, the, yeah. the kids and youngsters winning some medals. Yeah. Why do you think the programme's been so successful in producing so much talent? So you're talking about the yeah. likes of yourself, even even going further back, like Andy Lee, yeah. and Ryan Burnett, Michael Conlon, and all these these guys yeah. are like. How do you think that system keeps producing these? These talented yeah, people. I don't know. I guess they all say that you know success breeds success, and um, I think we, we are such a small country, but we are a country full of fighters as well. That's probably our most popular sport in the country, and um, those amateur fighters are, are nearly household names back home as well, which makes it um, very special. So we have a great system in the high performance program as well back home, and we've got great coaches, great club coaches as well, who are breeding those kids yes, up from, from, yes, from the start, which is, I think that's which a key, is very, really, very important. Really key point, really. Yeah, that's it. The grassroots so, and development of everything. Exactly. So it, it all starts off, off at club level, really, and yeah. we, we are very, very privileged to have great coaches at club level back home. Wish you the best of luck for your contest against Victoria Bustos on Saturday. Thank you very much yeah. for your well, Thanks TV. so much. And we'll catch you soon. Great. Thank you, Kate. Thanks a lot. Three rounds, three minutes, three fights unbeaten fighters and major performers. I can't tell you how excited I am about this.